So we're working on active materials, and this is a material that we can adsorb protein and desorb protein just by changing the temperature by a few degrees. And so we can very locally capture and release proteins without damaging them. Um, we can hold them without denaturing for as long as 24 hours, or we can capture them just for a second and release them. The next uh, big thing to deal with is what are the proteins and what are their functions. And so many really important proteins are present in just trace quantities, and being able to handle those trace quantities efficiently and effectively is critical. Susan Rivera is sitting here looking through the microscope at the behavior of some very interesting and active molecular machines called motor proteins. We're using those motor proteins and incorporating them into microfluidic systems for active transport and assembly and disassembly of nanomaterials on a chip. What, what you see here is the chip that's used to address these active materials and it's integrated into a semiconductor package and has all the necessary microfluidics associated with this on this one chip. There are proteins in the body that are present only in minute quantities that are the body's first response to disease. And if we could concentrate and detect those proteins, uh, we'd have a very good way of detecting bioterrorism or the first onset of outbreaks of disease.